Hey guys, it's Vicki. Welcome back to my channel. So for those of you who don't know who I am, my name is Vicki. I am a full-time reseller on the Poshmark app. I am just now starting to cross post everything to uh, eBay as well as starting to list some hard goods again. And so yeah, that's kind of where I'm at. I used to sell on eBay years ago, meaning between the years 2001 and 2010, I sold on eBay. Things are much different now. Um, and I only did auctions back then. I never did buy it nows or anything like that. Um, I also accepted personal checks. So anyway, um, in today's video, I have a bunch of things that I'm going to be listing. Some of these I've already listed just to test out the waters. I did just 99 cent auctions for some of them and um, I think I did 99 cent auctions. I might just didn't base prices, but anyway. So I just wanna see like, is there a demand for any of this kind of stuff? This is old stuff out of my grandmother's garage. So my grandmother passed away in 2009. It's 2020. We're still going through her stuff. Um, she has a lot of stuff and you know, she was born in the depression. So they held on to everything, at least she did. Um, you know, you couldn't really, she always wanted to go through her stuff, but she didn't want to get rid of anything because I guess she figured she might need it one day or maybe we would need it. I don't know. Um, but so I have a lot of stuff, random things, um, just to give a little idea of the types of things that I will be finding as I continue going through her stuff. She was a photographer. She was an artist. She was a Tom Jones and Charlie Rich groupie. Is that what it's called? Roadie? I don't know. She went to their concerts and you know there's pictures and and programs and stuff like that um, she loved Tom Jones and uh, she loved the computer she was the one who introduced me to the internet AOL back in the you know modem days <laughs> um, you know I she was always back whenever it was just like DOS you know when you had to type in the the C directory to get to your games and stuff like Pelly and Earthworm Jim and avoid the noid on the five and a half floppy like that's the type of stuff like she got me into that kind of stuff back in the 90s so um she loved computer stuff so lots of computer stuff um but of course you know she passed away in 2009 so a lot of the stuff is older computer stuff things from like microsoft 95 and vista and stuff like that a lot of printer ink things like that so i'm just gonna go through and show you guys what I have and I'm trying to determine whether I should list all this stuff on eBay because it is going to take some time and research and um, yeah so I'm just gonna show you guys maybe some of you might find some of it interesting to look at I don't know so this first thing is actually not from her um, garage this is just something I picked up at a thrift store it's just a Starbucks like a glass thermos um, it's from 2010 so it's nothing special um, I listed it I don't remember how much, but I put it on auction, I believe. But yeah, it's just a thermos. It's got the straw and all that um, that can be replaced. But So this was the first thing that I went ahead and put on eBay. Um, let me see. I'll go ahead and show you guys what I've already listed, what's currently listed right now. So I've watched a lot of YouTube videos about eBay, and everybody says printer ink. Printer ink, printer ink, get it. If you find it, get it. But I don't think this is the same type of printer ink they're talking about. I think they're talking about like the toner cartridges and stuff like that but this is just um like a hp uh 600 series printers it's just like ink refills you know like the generic so it's like a six pack i believe um i put it on auction i don't remember for what but yeah so never been opened it was in a box um all right I don't know if I listed this yet or not. Anyways, this was my grandfather's. This is a, again and again, it is a uh, multiple cell battery charger. I did find some on there. It didn't like they were moving at all. I didn't see any solds for that either. Um, this was basically new. My grandfather was a Dymo uh, fanatic. He had like the handheld Dymo label printer, you know, which you do by hand. And he would put dates on everything. So if you bought something, if he bought this, he put that on the date he bought it. So September 10th, 1985 is when he bought this, um, which was kind of cool. Just, you know, seeing this kind of stuff, it, it it's kind of neat. <laughs> All right. The next item is this Webster dictionary. This is a self -pron pronouncing dictionary. And this one is made in the USA. I do not know what year it's from. 
I did see another one on there. It's not in the most excellent condition. You know, you can tell that it's been stored away uh, in kind of, yeah, age spots. <laughs> um, I put some film on there. So this is just basic uh, 400 uh, Fuji Color 12 Exposure Super HG Film for Color Prints. Um, she had a lot of film and stuff like that. Um, there was this 1972 Harris edition. This is a United Stamps. Uh, it's just like a book for stamps. It's United Nations, British North America. I don't know anything about stamps, so I can't tell you what it's telling people. <laughs> but it's already listed. And I don't know if I list this or not. This is a set of corn butterers. <laughs> They're stainless steel. Um, still have the box and apparently some hair. So, yeah, it's Viking Company is who um, made this. So, Viking Importers. These are Shell 1961 and 1962. These are like little, I want to say they're address books. They're planners, like miniature planners. They have um, just a bunch of like random information in the beginning like name of the months names of the days and they explain where the name the days came from and all that kind of crazy stuff it's it's really neat and interesting but yeah so just two little mini planners the next thing i thought was pretty awesome this is from 1950 um copyrighted in 1949 this is the world's ready reckoner and rapid calculator so it is this um I guess you can see it. Ready Reckoner and Rapid Calculator. So if you just look on the inside, it's got like all the numbers and all that kind of stuff. I did see one already listed online. So um, I think I listed this. I might not have. All right, this is a book that I was going to list. I didn't know if I should. This was from, it's hard to tell with books. It says copyright 52, 60, 68, 77. So I'm sure this is post 77 um, but it's how to clean everything it's just a book i don't really know if i should do books on ebay or if i should do them on on amazon because a lot of people said that amazon is better for books and you can actually scan but the problem with scanning is a lot of these books are so old they do not have barcodes so i have a lot of books from like the 40s and the 50s in a box downstairs which i will make a whole nother video on those they smell very vintagey you know a lot of silverfish if you know what that is they're like these little bugs that like to hide in the books and it's not fun <laughs> um but yeah so i'm trying to clean those up and i am going to decide what to do with those i might just sell them in a big lot or just donate them i don't know yet all right so there's that so this one i thought it was a it's a speedles i thought it was speedles um a watch band but we opened it up and it's actually an omega um watch band which is leather it is Swiss made and it doesn't have like the little um, the bands that go around it. I don't know if it's supposed to. I'm pretty sure this is the type of watch that um, it kind of goes over and under or something. But anyway, so it's just these watch bands um, and it does say Omega on it, but it is very faint. Um, but yeah, I went ahead and listed that. The comps for Omega watch bands are extremely high. I was... I was shocked at how high they were um, and I don't know if those were newer or not but this one has like the Amiga symbol on it if you can see my mom thought it was Etienne Agner and I was like I don't know maybe but nope Amiga okay the next items are these Russ Berry and company they're like these little message boards these were my grandpa's I'm not going to show all of them because some of them are well they're not good for YouTube um, but I'll just kind of show you these they're like plastic on the back it says message these are from 1979 at least that's what it says on the bottom 1979 they all have item numbers um, but yeah my grandpa was one of those people who had lots of um, weird things like sayings like just stuff like that you know the raspberry those little statues that have like the saying like world's greatest dad and stuff like that he had a lot of those i don't know if they were his or if they were actually my grandma's that kind of stuff but there were a lot of those at their house all right the next item is this 
Peterson's Photographic Blueprint Series. This is just a photographic um, magazine publication. It's from 1973. There was one listed just like it. And then I found this, which is just like a guide to the Rubik's Cube. And this is from 1980. Kind of neat. <laughs> And then, I haven't listed these yet, but these are original photos of Charlie Rich. My grandmother was a photographer. Um, but yeah, so I'm assuming she developed all of these. Um, but they are wrinkled because they've been stored away for many years. And But there's lots of pictures of Charlie Rich. So I believe that these photos were taken when he came to the Santee Cooper Country Music Festival, which I'm sure it was in the 70s at some point. Um, I do have the program for it downstairs, which I was going to actually um, put together with this. But, yeah. So I don't know if I should sell this or not. I don't, I don't know how photos do, you know, stuff like this. I mean, they're not the best photos. You know, they are amateur photos. But I don't know. So um, if you have any idea on that one, let me know. All right. So here is the box of stuff that I have not listed yet. Stuff that I, I probably, I feel like I'm not going to list because I don't feel like it's worth it. But anyway, so the first thing is this Ken doll. I will cover, well, he's wearing underwear, so it's okay. Um, so here's the Ken doll. On the back, it's dated 1968. So it's the 1968 body, but it's missing the head. There was a head on it, but it was a Disney head, which was like, I don't know, somebody from like Beauty and the Beast or something. So the legs are kind of crooked. I need to clean them up, but I don't know. Is it worth? Is it worth it? I don't know. Let me know if you know. <laughs> I just don't know if it's worth listing on eBay. So that's what I'm not sure about. Um, these are two items that I am looking into listing. So this is a Trojan USA. It's a glass cutter. This is number 50, just a glass cutter. It does have a little bit of wear, you know, but it's a tool. I'm sure people who use these don't care about that. But um, And then the other item is a microphone because my grandmother was also a singer. She just did everything. She was like a jack of all trades. Um, she sang a lot, and I'm sure this went to her... Um, Radio, this is a realistic dynamic cardioid mic, um, 620K. I don't know if it works. Um, so that's why I don't really have anything with a plug like this where I can actually test it out. I think my daughter has a, a karaoke set. It might go into that, but I doubt it because the newer ones are really tiny um, plugs. So, all right, moving on. I found knives. So there's knives. Um, there's two knives. This one is a Top Flight Stainless by Burrell. B-U-R-R-E-L-L. -L. I don't know. It's just a knife. And then this one is a Geneva Stainless USA, and it's a weird, funky chopping knife. Um, you know, they would need to be cleaned up. I'm not going to sharpen them, but my mom says bad luck to throw away knives, so... I guess that means I have to sell it or I have to keep it. And I don't really want to keep it, so I don't know. All right. A bunch of these. These are like little um, Anison. They're like little tins that people used to get their medicine in. I have a couple of these. Um, I see some that are listed on eBay. Uh, I believe I saw some that sold as well, which I was like, really? People buy that stuff? I guess it's collectibles. People like that kind of stuff. So, so I was on Reddit the other night and I was reading about eBay and somebody posted in order to, to do well on eBay, not to sell stuff like this. So they're like, don't sell stuff that's from old people times. I'm like, how old are you? 12? <laughs> I mean, old people times, like these are a lot, there's collectors for everything, you know? And I feel like a lot of collectors are on eBay. A lot of them are there. That's where they go to look. I mean, eBay is the first place that I think whenever I think of going somewhere online to buy. It's not Amazon. I'm still stuck in the eBay because eBay used to be it. That was it. Um, <clears throat> Amazon is still too new for me, and I don't understand all of it completely. But eBay is something that I've always known how to shop on, and it's a, I feel it's easier and not as confusing as shopping on Amazon. Amazon can be confusing to 
me. Um, anyway, okay, so let's move on. These are tablespoons. I, uh, I found multiple sets. I don't know if it's really worth even doing anything with, but they're just some tablespoons. Um, I could probably just keep these for myself. But these are made for Foley in Japan, whatever that is. Like I said, research, got to research. This ashtray is a Coca-Cola ashtray, and it's very difficult to see. My mom's like, how can you even see that? I can't see it. But it's on here, and it says, I don't know if I'll be able to read it with the light. Anyway, I'll just tell you what I what I what it said. You can look at it and you can see it. it doesn't look like there's anything on there, but in the certain light you can see it. It needs to be cleaned up. It is an ashtray and it says drink Coca-Cola. It says keep a half a pack in your refrigerator, something like that. So it's just an old Coca-Cola. Um, it's heavy ashtray. I thought it was cool, and it sucks that you really you really can't see. Like I could not photograph it to where people could actually see it. Because it's only in a certain light that you can see it. Now I might be able to get lucky and try to get the right angle. But yeah. So I mean I feel like this would do really well if you could actually see it. Um, Alright. Bottle openers. My mom said bottle openers do really well. You should take these and just clean them up. I don't know how to get the rust off. I think she said vinegar or something. So this one is from the new Carling Brewery, Brewery in Atlanta, Georgia. It's just a basic um, bottle opener. This one is a Pepsi Cola bottle opener. It is extremely rusted, but it does say Pepsi Cola on it. And then this one right here is a Pabst Blue Ribbon. Um, so yeah, it's a Pabst Blue Ribbon. And then this is something my grandma probably got from Goodwill or something because she loved the thrift stores. This is a Paul Revere Reproduction Oneida Silversmith. So I think it's like silver plated. I was going to put it in some boiling water with some aluminum foil and see. I think that's what I had to put in there. Something else to try to clean it, the tarnish off. I don't know if it'll work with bowls. <laughs> I know it'll work with silverware, but I don't know. All right, so on to the rest. Like, there's still a lot in here. Okay. Um, this is photography stuff. So this is the changer, and it's like a filter. It's called Creative Filters. You know, back in the day, they didn't have, you know, Snapchat and stuff like that. This is the filters they had for their cameras. So it's never been open, brand new. Um, it was on clearance for $10.00 from a store called Richway. No telling, no telling. Um, it was originally, it looks like it says $19.99 is what the original price was. But you know, back then $19.99 was a lot of money. So um, this is a lens filter set from Sears. This is a 52 mm filter set, no idea. Um, no idea. All right, this is a Texas Instruments TI-1200 electronic calculator. It's a little beat up on the inside, or on the outside, but it's just an old calculator, and it needs batteries. I believe it takes a 9-volt battery, and it also has a plug, so. Um, there's a lot of these listed on eBay, so that's why I didn't list this one yet. So there's just so much I don't want to undercut because it really wasn't for a lot. So we have an old camera. This is a Kodak. I don't want to open it because last time I opened it, I could not get it to close back. Um, but I will just pull it open. Or will I? Okay, there. Oop. There we go. It's an old camera. I forget what these are called. And come on, baby. Anyway, I'll get it back in there in a little bit because that's going to take me forever. All right, so I found some door hinges. I see a lot of people posting like parts and they say that they do well. These are like Stanley hinge pin something door stops. So they're just door stops and they've never been used. I said, you know, I could try it, I guess. Uh, maybe. 
Then we have this, which I can probably sell this on Poshmark. This is a seashell. It's a plant holder, right? Really cute, really neat. I'll probably put this on Poshmark. Um, I did see a bunch of these on eBay, but they really weren't going for a lot. All right, these are bead storage. There's a lot of this stuff on there. They don't. I probably wouldn't get maybe five bucks, six, seven bucks. So I might keep it for myself because I do have a lot of beads, and I was thinking about getting back into crafting jewelry again. Old books, old magazines. There's a lot of old magazines. I love looking at these, honestly. I mean, I told my mom, I said, I might just donate all these after I look through them because it is amazing to look at the prices back then, just the styles, just everything is so different and it's so cool. But this is a baby knitting. Um, it's Mon Tricot. It's a Canada book, Canada, USA, a dollar. Um, but anyway, so it's just like a knitting book. And I actually saw one on eBay right now that's listed, not for much. So I went ahead and kept it off of eBay. This is from fall, winter, 1972, 1973. Um, but yeah, I love looking at the old magazines. I have a ton of like uh, Women's Day magazines downstairs and Family Circle to look at because they're pretty cool. <laughs> um, this is a Confederate receipt book, a compilation of over 100 receipts adapted to the times. Um, West Johnson, West and Johnson, Richmond, I don't know. And this, let's see, I don't know when this was from. It says 1960s, copyright, but you know, that doesn't mean that's when this was printed. I don't know. But anyway, copyright of 1960. Um, yeah, so I don't know. I said it was $1.50 up at the top, so. All right, this is listed. Um, this is a focal auxiliary. auxiliary auxiliary lens set telephoto and wide angle lenses for Mendelta freedom this is brand new never been open um original price was at kmart for 49.97 and i'm sure that was in the 80s because more than likely all right this is a video head plus drum cleaner this track mate um still new never been opened uh i think i saw some online already I just haven't listed this one yet, so. It's like, things like this, I don't know. Like, should I do, like, bidding? Should I do auctions, or should I just buy it now? I feel like auctions are better because it'll basically let you know if people really want it. Um, but, yeah, I don't know. This is a Mattel 1980 furniture, metal furniture uh, for dollhouse. And it, of course, has been kind of open because I probably, well, no. I wasn't alive in 1980. Um, I was alive in 1981. And I'm sure I wasn't digging through boxes in 1981. So, anyway, so yeah. Um, more of those little tins. I was just going to sell them all in a lot if I did do it. Um, Alright, so this is a dec decorative plate. It says mother and dad on it. Um, on the back of it, it's got like the string for hanging and it says T1834 and it's from Brins, Pittsburgh, Pennsylvania, made in Japan. So I guess they purchased it from a place called Brins. Um, so, I don't know. Alright, almost done. So this is a PC paintbrush software, uh, originally $43.99, Electronics Boutique. Man, I haven't heard of that store in a long time. Uh, Microsoft Windows compatible. <laughs> and it's got the 3.5 inch disc. So, yeah, I don't know. The next item is this PC Stitch. Another software. Um, um, this is from Office Depot. And I don't know how much it was, but it is just a software program. All right, this one is uh, Downbeat Music, 15th Yearbook, 1970 Jazz Calendar is inside of this issue, which I did not see, but it is just this magazine, this publication, and it has, like, music on the inside, um, just random stories, jazz stories and stuff. And then another software program, this is Picture It, and... 
Uh, I don't even know. She got it from Sam's Club. She loves Sam's Club. This is Microsoft Windows XP. So, um, but everything's in it. And then there's just little random like manuals for the computer, which I'll have to look up separately because some people do buy those. Um, there was this Jergens lotion. It's in a like a glass bottle. It would need to be cleaned up. But I saw people are selling this, and people are actually buying it. So. Um, and then a VHS. She has a lot of VHS. Now, I don't know. A lot of the stuff was um, things that she recorded. She has a lot of beta. Um, if you know what a beta is, if you're older, I'm sure you know. But if you're younger, a beta is basically a, it looks like a VHS tape, but it's smaller. And I have downstairs a VHS a cassette player. And there's also a beta player at her garage. I don't know if I should try to sell them because I, I don't really feel like testing them to see if they work. And they might work, they might not, I don't know. I don't know if it makes a difference. So, um, the, just a lot of research I have to do. A lot of research. Alright guys, so that was everything that I am trying to decide whether I'm going to list on eBay or not. If you saw anything that you feel that I should list, let me know in the comments below. I'm completely clueless when it comes to selling hard goods on eBay now, especially when it comes to older vintage items. Um, so yeah, we'll see. So thank you for watching. If you have not subscribed, I welcome you to do so. I put out content every week. And if you like this sort of content, be sure to give me a like. I will talk to y'all later. Bye.